Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a product to your stand store. Step-by-step -step tutorial, quick and easy. If you don't know who I am, my name is Phoenix and I create and sell digital products. Let's get into the video. So here is how to add a product to your stand store. You're going to want to log in and go to the left-hand side and hit my store. Then you're going to scroll and you can see either add a section or add a product. So we're going to add a product. Now you can add digital products like PDFs, guides, templates, etc. You can do coaching calls or you can do a URL that you can link to an external site. This can be good when using the Canva links as well. But we're going to add a digital product. So you click on it. You can click a button call out or even a preview if you would like. I usually use a button or a call out depending on what type of product it is. Then you're going to want to choose an image or you can upload your own image. So if you choose an image, they have a bunch here, but I usually like- If you are finding this tutorial helpful right now, please be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel out. Like to upload an image. So I'm just going to drag and drop. See? Right here, upload an image. You can shrink it or expand it, and then we'll hit crop and it'll upload. Next, you want to add a catchy title. So I'll write seven peel our digital planners and a subtitle that says helping you to start your on oops your online digital product business today and then you can say download now learn more view more whatever you'd like to see so i'm going to say see inside you hit next and then here you get to choose a cover image for your product so again you can do choose your image or upload an image i'm just going to drag and drop the same image here so i would crop it something like this and then again it'll be uploading and you can preview it always on this side so it'll say get my whatever now you want to have a catchy line and then you're going to go into your product description the bottom title above where they pay and then their call to action button now you can set a price and also a discount price so say you wanted to price this at $19.99 but you wanted a sale on right now for $4.99. You can see how that looks more appealing to your customers because your product is on a discount. And again there is different types of um, plans with stand store so you can always upgrade to unlock all of these. Adding a payment plan is usually really good when you have high ticket items. You can always add the fields that you would like to collect and then one thing you don't want to forget about is how to upload your digital product. So you can either drag and drop files here or you can redirect to a URL, which is a URL would be something, say, in Canva. Instead of clicking a template link, you would click, it's just loading here, share, and then I would go to public view link. That's what I would share on um, stand store if you would like a tutorial about that please let me know and then you go up here fill in all the details and then another thing to do is to go to options you can always add customer reviews if you want if you have the upgraded version you can do email flows order bumps affiliate share promo videos are very good to add so add a video about what your product is about and then the confirmation email is something huge that a lot of people forget to work on when they're adding products to their store. So you're going to want to customize this instead of this is just the basic stand store template that your customer will be sent when they order a product. But you want to personalize this a little bit more than that. And then you can also email, integrate it directly to your MailChimp if you do have that and just add it in and they'll get added to your email list. Then you can save it as a draft or publish and it will show up in your stand store. I'm very exciting and I hope this helps. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below or if you would like to see a tutorial on something else, also let me know down below. 
I'll see you in the next video.